Hey everybody, this is how to make lasagna the jacked way. As you can see right here, I just cleaned out the pot. You always want to clean that out before you... Anything, just in case. There's, uh, open up the lasagna noodles now. And I'm going to put the water on now. I'm going to dump this in there just like that. But, uh, I washed my hands before this. Yes, I did. Maybe if I don't believe me, I'll screw you. You know? And I'm just going to break these apart just like that. It's easier. You're going to have to break it apart anyway. And that's enough water. Let's see if I can hold this without dropping it. Ooh! There we go. We got our, uh, our noodles on. Let's move that down somewhat there. And now, unfortunately, I don't like this hamburger. This is meatloaf. Mom, the meatloaf! For those of you who have seen uh, Autumn Crashers. Peace it, Louie. Okay, I got her. Uh, let's turn this up a little more. I got this on now. We're going to put some uh, salt in there. My dad got this from QVC. Don't ask. Got some uh, pepper. That's probably all you need, really. But I'm gonna make this a little spicy. We got some uh, red pepper here. Sorry for the shaky uh, mist of the video. I'm trying to just a little bit of that and some cayenne pepper. If I can open this up, I should open up before I shot the video. But I'm not smart. And we're not going to go crazy with this because some people do complain I make it too spicy. But I like some cayenne on that baby. Mm. And some basil leaves. Put a little on there. This is open, so I got to be careful. Mm. Oh, I put that was too much right there. And. Finally, the garlic powder. This garlic is not that much. All right, and there we go. We got it seasoned. We're gonna do this again later. We're gonna flip this, and uh, our meat's gonna be cooked. And then I have to I have to get the big pan ready, which is a crock pot. I have. Look at that. That was too much. And then we're, um, yeah, we're going to start putting it, put it together. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, so pretty much, as you can see, I don't like meatloaf, meatball mix, but that's what my parents bought. That's what we had. And as you can see, I seasoned it on both sides. It's cooking. I don't like that grease in there, so I'm going to dump that in the strainer. And our noodles are pretty much starting to boil here. Okay, got the crock pot ready. This is a crock pot I'm going to put it in the oven. See, it's permanently stained, but we've been using this for a while. Yeah, man. It's okay. So we're getting there, guys. We're going to make our cottage cheese lasagna. Pretty much when this is done. Alright, all right, so I'm going to dump this in a strainer. You can see there's grease right there, which I don't like in the lasagna. If you like grease in the lasagna, that's fine. Also, our noodles are really turned this down, really going hard here. And I got the little strainer for the meat, just for the meat. I'm gonna put that in there probably right now. So let's do this. And we're gonna lose some meat probably, and that's fine because we have a lot. Oh my god, look at all that steam. And then, hey, we lost some meat right there, look. It happens. So once again, I'm just going to move this around. Whew. Pretty smoky. That means it's hot, it's done, it's great. As you can see, we're mostly losing the little bits. I don't care about the little, the little uh, tiny bits of the meat. And now we're going to put this right back in 
And as you can see, we got rid of the the grease, which I don't want in the lasagna. The noodles are pretty much done. I'm going to use a regular strainer for that, which we're going to do pretty much next. Okay, it is time for the money shot. There it is. We got this baby. Uh, I couldn't do it with two hands. That's what she said. That old. And uh, we got our noodles right here. This is one of my favorite parts about lasagna. I love the big noodles. And when I was a kid, when my mom used to make the lasagna, I used to take the noodles and I used to dip it in the sauce. And people would complain. It's like, stop doing that. You're ruining the lasagna. And I was like, it's so good, mommy. It's so good. And she would beat me in the head with a stick. Okay, she didn't do that. But for the purpose of the story, she did. Oh, that's not good. See how it's all stuck like that? We don't want that. Yeah, just like that. So anyways, we're going to put this together now. And this is the part where it gets fun, folks. It's going to get fun. We got our meat drained. Oh, yeah. All right, as you can see right here, I don't like this kind of cheese. I prefer Kraft, but they didn't have Kraft. So I got the fat-free, which I know a lot of people know. You can obviously use that fat guy. And we got the cottage cheese low curd. Now, once again, most people use ricotta cheese. But my dad has been using cottage cheese and lasagna, lasagna since I was a kid. And it's one of those weird things you just you just eat and you just go with. So let's put the uh, oven. We're using a selfie stick now. More stabilized. Let's put it on for 375. Now we can start making our lasagna, everybody. Let's take these out. Well, it wasn't a good idea to put the cottage cheese in there. These probably have germs in these. I just washed this pan. Well, Alright, we're going to start with our lasagna here. I'm going to grab some, some layers. And I'm going to put two layers, actually. The reason why is because I don't... My favorite thing about the lasagna, like I said, is the noodles. One of my favorites. And if you just put a little bit of noodles, you can't taste it. My dad likes his lasagna with a little bit of noodles. And a lot of meat. And a lot of cheese. I'm the opposite. I like more noodles, a little bit less meat, and just an okay amount of cheese. So I'm gonna put two layers of cheese. I'm sorry, two layers of noodles. This guy can't tell the difference between noodles and cheese. He's an idiot. Yep, probably right. Sounds about right. And. Oh, this is hot. My God. Woo I didn't let this cool off at all. And as you can see, we have our noodles. Two layers. Now, we got the meat here. There we go. There's plenty in here. We got enough for two servings. You hear the oven coming on, baby. That's right. And if it was up to me, I would just put a little bit of meat. I'm not gonna go crazy with the. Uh, I don't. I don't like tons of meat. Okay. Next up is our cottage cheese. Gotta get a plastic spoon for this. My dad likes cottage cheese so much. He eats. My dad's one of those uh, guys who he eats the cottage cheese. He could eat a whole container of cottage cheese and then he farts violently. So my dad pretty much likes to fart on people. And if you do it to him, he gets mad. But he's an old school farter. Okay? So if you do it to him, you go, what the hell, man? Don't do that shit to me. But he does it to us. So, I, won't, I know once again it sounds weird to use cottage cheese instead of ricotta cheese. Try it, folks. Try it. You might like it. Okay? You might like it. You might not. I know somebody who tried it once and they said, you're an asshole. And I said, hey, that's not nice. Okay, now we got our Prego. I prefer the Prego meat, but my parents don't like the, the Prego meat. And I like a I like a decent amount of sauce. Most people I know, they go, "Hey kid, 
go easy on the sauce, and I say, hey, you go fuck yourself. Excuse my language for the channel. Alright. And then now we just go again. We're gonna go again, same thing. That's right, we're gonna... Now, you can put the sauce, obviously, the other way. You can put it on the, the meat, then put the cottage cheese on. I don't care, I'm doing it my way. It's my lasagna, and damn it, it's America, I'll do what I want. If you got a problem with it, I'll fight you and probably lose. Okay, so we're going to go one more layer. I mean, I like to put, like I said, the two layers, I think it's a great idea. If you're like me, ah, oh my god, this is so hot. And you like, uh, you like the taste of the noodles. And this is what you do. This is what you do. All right. And we're almost done here. Now, there's a lot of noodles going into trash. That's why when I was a kid, I used to eat it. I'm going to put a little bit more in here just because I'm, I'm wasting a lot. Of, I'm going to show you how much noodles I'm going to throw in the trash. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to upset you. Look how much noodles I'm throwing away. Look. I mean, that's a lot. It's almost like a half a tray of lasagna. Okay, so now we go again. Go over this way. I can't do it with the camera in the way. So. And we're going to spread this around with our spatula. And as you can see, we're almost full to the top, but that's good. That's fine. More cottage cheese. That's because we put our two layers of noodles. And once again, we're doing this the jacked way, folks. You gotta do it your way. My dad, I'm glad he's not here because my dad is the type of person to eat the cottage cheese with a spoon, put his whole mouth in the thing and just leave it there and then you open it the next day to use it for the lasagna. You're like, that fucking mug, that bastard. All right. Cottage cheese, done. Now, one more layer of sauce here. I'm gonna put a little bit more on top. No! And now for the money shot. I'm gonna do this real quick. This is good. We can do a little of that. Mmm. That's so good. And now we got the. It looks like. Just frozen? Look frozen. The hell? I should have bought the big bag. Alright, whatever. I screwed up. Yeah, it looks frozen, doesn't it? It's like ice blocks. And we're just gonna move this around. Don't forget the corners, don't forget the edges. Some of this is stuck. I hate when it gets stuck the cheese together. I just move the camera here. Dropped it. As you can see, and that's that. There it is, folks. There's the lasagna, and now I'm gonna put this thing in the oven and show you guys what it looks what it looks like when it's done. Even though, obviously, you guys have seen what a lasagna looks like. You're not an idiot, but we're gonna see what it looks like at the end. Stay tuned. There it is, folks. There's the cottage cheese lasagna. Um, depends what kind of cheese you use. This cheese took a little bit longer to cook, but as you can see, it is boiling. And there it is. Let's get a little, uh, knife in here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do, yeah. That's right. My dad bought an orange knife. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if I use better cheese, craft cheese, that would have been the best I did. But there it is right there. And let's get that up. Mm. There it is. Look at that. Like you guys have never seen lasagna before. Woo! There's Kai's cheese lasagna. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see ya.